Unit 8, Communication. Match the headings to the appropriate number 1 through 5 in the text. Cognitive barriers. Biological and genetical barriers. Psychologic barriers. Metaphysics at the bedside. Barriers to prevention. Reading 1. Fill in the blank 1. Fill in the blank 2. Not everyone responds to preventative measures. Some of us, because of our genes, are immune to the benefits of exercise, for example. As our understanding of genetic advances improves, our habitual advice of take more exercise looks increasingly old-fashioned. What we should really do is get to know our patients psychologically and genetically and tailor advice such as for you. Diet advice is more important than exercise. Vocabulary 1. Number 1. Word barriers, meaning hurdle. Number 2. Word psychologic, meaning as described in an earlier PowerPoint. Number 3. Word metaphysics, meaning the branch of philosophy that deal with the nature of existence, truth, and knowledge. Number 4. Word response, meaning answer. Number 5. Word measures, meaning actions. Number 6. Word genes, meaning a unit inside a cell which controls a particular quality in a living thing that has been passed on from its parents. Number seven, word immune, meaning protected. Number eight, word benefits, meaning advantage. Number nine, word genetic, meaning hereditary, inherited. Number ten, word advances, meaning development of knowledge. Number eleven, word habitual, meaning usual. Number 12, word advice, meaning suggestion. Number 13, word increasingly, meaning more and more. Number 14, word old-fashioned, meaning outdated. Reading 2, fill in the blank 3. When, if ever we think about devastating but preventable ill health in ourselves, we may either believe that it won't happen to me, or we immediately dare fate to make it happen. To some people, over-enthusiastic and intimidating advice from bodies such as UK Health Education Authority creates cognitive barriers to prevention, provoking anger and rejection by those who resent their taxes been spent by state, which assumes that all its citizens are five years old who cannot be trusted to think for themselves. Vocabulary 2. Number 1. Word devastating, meaning very harmful. Number two, word preventable, meaning avoidable. Number three, word immediately, meaning instantly. Number four, word dare, meaning challenge. Number five, word fate, meaning density. Number six, word enthusiastic, meaning excited. Number seven, word intimidating, meaning frightening. Number eight, word cognitive, meaning related to mind and thoughts. Number nine, word provoking, meaning cause. Number 10, word rejection, meaning negative response. Number 11, word resent, meaning dislike. Number 12, word assumes, meaning suppose. Number 13, word trusted, meaning as explained in class. Reading 3. We often find ourselves sitting on beds trying to persuade wayward patients to courses of preventive action, which will clearly benefit them. We think there should be enough clarity to persuade the person to act. But we resign ourselves to the fact that action will not follow. Why is this so often the case? The first person to know the answer to this question was the world's worst patient, the poet Samuel Taylor Coleridge, who answers our question in this way. To love our future selves is almost as hard as to love our neighbor. Vocabulary 3 Number one, word persuade, meaning convince. Number two, word wayward, meaning disobedient. Number three, word preventive, meaning stoppable. Number four, word follow, meaning to come after. Number five, word clarity, meaning clearness. Number six, word resign, meaning leave. Reading four, fill in the blank five. All of us at time are prone to promote our own destruction as keenly as we promote our own survival. 
Knowing that alcohol may bring about our own destruction gives the substance a certain appeal. When we are in a certain frame of mind, particularly if we do not know the sordid details of what death from alcohol involve. Vocabulary 4. Number 1. Word prone, meaning likely to suffer from something or to do something bad. Number 2. Word promote, meaning raise. Number 3. Word destruction, meaning the act of destroying something, the process of being destroyed. Number 4. Word keenly, meaning eagerly. Number 5. Word appeal, meaning attraction. Number 6. Word survival, meaning continued existence. Number 7. Word substance, meaning matter.